hello, hello. Welcome back, friends, for another installment of Logical Dating Advice. I filmed the first one yesterday. I have an update on those children that were in the creek, if you're interested. Just have to mention, it's a really beautiful day in the park. It's really beautiful weather. I'm unfortunately not feeling so great. I didn't sleep till like 3.30 in the morning, and I was crazy dehydrated. I don't know what happened. Um, like, never happens to me. But um, I'm just gonna like do my best to forge onwards. I've got a drink, a tea, and water. So I'm gonna like just keep going today. We have lots to cover. So um, those children that were running around and like playing in this creek, they were like walking on the rocks and stuff. And I was like thinking, oh my God, I hope like they don't like slip or something, you know? Um, and as I was leaving, this woman was walking in front of me and she had like a hood on and like um, AirPods. And she like took down the hood and took out her AirPods and like was telling the kids like what to do. So she was the mom, but <laughs> she was doing laps around the park and she was wearing pajama bottoms and rain boots, even though it's like perfect weather. And they were just like completely unsupervised. And I just thought that's so funny because then what happened was when I got home, something else happened. Like my neighbor's kids were running outside and playing tag to like 11.30 at night and shouting. And I thought, I think I got something in my vibration about like children that just like are really unruly. Um, and then it continued into today. So just be really careful what you think. You know, you can't be sloppy, you can't be lazy because it's just gonna like follow you. So it just made me laugh, but it's all good. Anyway, logical dating advice. Okay, so for part two, part one was like, how to know what you want, what's really important, what isn't. Like, you know, if someone's like, if you go on one date and someone's like cheap and annoying, um, I've heard of people getting like asked to pay for half the gas or something like that. You know, you can just be like, yo, that's disgraceful and just very nicely just say, you know what, I decline or of course, but then never speak to them again. Can you just like, it's not what you do, it's how you do it in life a lot of the time. And then the other thing is like, how do you actually meet people? Where do you actually make like friends? Like friends are important. I think when people get older, they don't realize the importance of having social like support systems. So, um, and another thing, like, it's people who can always introduce you to someone. Like I've said yesterday, that's how some couples met. It was like through me. I just sort of thought like, hey, you'd be like a good fit or whatever, right? I just like generally, I like people. I meet them easily. I'm not really shy. So it's like, okay. So um, if you can find someone who's like a catalyst, it's quite helpful. And so there's two main ways to do that, you know. Uh, one is to do something that is an interest, of course. So, you know, if you like pottery and whatever, go take a class, you network, you meet people, book clubs. Um, if you're active, you, there's like those, you know, cycling packs of like dads that go in like their forties. You do that if you like bicycling, you do whatever. You join a marathon, you find like a training partner, you join a gym, do something social. Like gyms, I don't feel like are very social, but there's activities in gyms like volleyball, basketball, you know, you can like join a local league. Okay, it's quite helpful. And then of course, because this is like 2022, Modernity, okay, so meeting people online. Now, I don't like saying like that's the wrong way to meet someone. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to really meet someone unless you're like doing illegal activities or something is like very morally reprehensible that you're just like, that's just, that's not right, you know? Um, like Martha Stewart, she said in an interview, she really wants to get married again. And she said, she's just waiting for some of her friends to die so she could marry their husbands. And I thought, see, that's not, that's not nice. Don't do that, you know? Um, and uh, you know what I mean? Like be above board. Don't be uh, a person living in gray areas of morality. In any case, online. So online, basically 99% of choosing a decent person to spend time with over the internet boils down to having common sense, okay? So you know I'm really not in the habit of like helping dudes date because I did that in my 20s. I gave so many of my guy friends such good advice and they just like kept blowing these like really good relationships and like ruining them and I thought you are just so exhausting. I just like distanced myself from like having male friendships because they're like their own worst enemy and they sabotage everything and I thought you waste my time, you drain me, you give me nothing in return. I'm not doing this, okay? But if it helps someone, here goes. Number one, actually have the intention to go out. Go for an ice cream, go for a walk, go to the movies, plan something, okay? If you show initiative, it's really impressive, okay? But timing is everything in life. You can't be like, hey, how are you? Movies, 
you have to make people feel safe. So you have to kind of like know something about them. I think once you establish just one inside joke with somebody, you can ask them out, you know? Cause you're actually saying, I'm interested in getting to know someone, not getting in someone. There's like a difference, right? This is for people who actually want to date, okay? The other thing is actual communication. Do not say, hey, how are you? Cause you don't really care how they are. They, they could have been shot in their left kneecap five minutes before you sent that. They'll be like, you don't get how I am. You have to be authentic about it, okay? So mention something in their profile or whatever, okay? Something like just, you know, something a little more specific and less like so general. And then obviously there's going to be um, other things, like other factors, like actually communicating effectively. So don't chat aimlessly. Okay, if you start a conversation, be highly responsive, like be fire on the text. After 24 to 48 hours, you need to move off the app. You need to get a phone number and get on the actual telephone. If you don't, I think some apps actually allow you to call, do that, okay? So I said yesterday, don't go out unless you actually speak to the person. So initiate, say like, ma'am, can I call you, blah, 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 right? But prior to that, Good grasp on grammar, okay? Have a grasp on grammar. This is so important. Simple things that are like avoidable, like knowing there, 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 and your, and your, then, then, you might think that doesn't matter, but to somebody who's like a semi thinker even, would just see that and go, how does that not bother them? That's a 37 year old man. How has he gone through life without ever correcting that or something? So you might think like that's so petty, that's so inconsequential, they're a good person. Okay, look, there's, there's shit I can't spell, okay? <laughs> Jewelry, license, <laughs> definitely. There's things I like struggle with, you know, like to, rem I just can't like remember. I don't, everybody has like something, they just can't like remember how to spell it. Or if it's like one word or two, like weight gain, weight loss, or something like that, right? Birth chart, okay? But you like, you see the squiggly thing letting you know, okay? And the reason is that I talked yesterday about like, what's important is like how women feel safe. Like if you do something that's completely preventable and you do nothing to prevent it, it will bother certain people. And I'm not saying this because it's my opinion, though it is my opinion. I'm saying this because the majority of my circle is women, ladies, females, okay? And we discuss this. I hear everything, I know everything. And if you really wanna increase your odds, like just take that one like second step to just like correct that, okay? Use appropriate punctuation, like commas are your friends, okay? Uh, run on sentences are not. So it seems like such a dumb thing to bring up, but this will just, I'm just saying like, it will help you cast your net a little bit wider, okay? So do that with, do with that whatever you want. Men, once you actually do all of that, secure the date, really secure the date, and just endeavor to like be gentlemanly. So I'll give you a really good uh, piece of advice, and this can like, anybody can do this. I'm not saying men have to do it, like. I should make a video called Man Hating 101, because everyone's like so hopped up, <laughs> being so angry with men. <laughs> it's like an internet thing. I don't see this in the world so much, but I see statistics in the world that are very alarming, but little things like that, I don't really care. Um, anyway, okay, so say you are 24, you don't make a lot of money, and you cannot afford to do the kind of things that you would like to do to woo somebody, okay? So you can't, you can't, you don't have a car, you couldn't afford the insurance, you can't afford the gas, you can't go pick up that lady and take her out on your first date. And I really can't stand it when people say things like dating is expensive, that's just not realistic. No. You're cheap with your effort, you're cheap with your time, and you're cheap with yourself. When people say things like that, I automatically know they're not worth me investing my friendship in them because what you're really saying is you have a weak filter or you have no filter. You have very poor standard. Because if you had a decent like filtration process or a discerning mind that you could like cipher and decipher, you wouldn't take out 15 people in one month. You would narrow it down to like two maybe five like even that's a lot for me like i don't like going out so that's different you know and if you just pick like selectively if you invest if you facilitate okay then you can afford to but let's say you couldn't on any level you could afford uh 
a, a coffee date, right? That's it. That's fine. What you could do, and you feel like, I'm only saying this like, because I, like, I remember growing up and my guy friends being like, you know, I, I tried to, like, I know one of them was like a pro athlete for a little while. I didn't like work out. And then another one like lived at home for a long time. Like he was just like, he had really bad luck. And another one, he, uh, what was it? Musician. He like, he, he was like gigging for a while and it was like picking up and then he got like dropped. So it was like, they just like wanted to, but they couldn't afford certain things. So you default to being thoughtful. It's free. Ideas are free. Okay. So the example I'm going to give is this, uh, girl that I worked my co-worker at the time she went on a on a dinner date with this guy and he was like very gentlemanly but she said like you know it really creeped me out because when when I got to the table at the restaurant she said I have a gift for you and she's like oh I don't want to like draw attention to myself I thought like something would come up with like sparklers or like a giant thing of flowers and I was like okay but this is like normal courtship in some cultures. Like a thing of flowers awaits you at the table the man is always early you know like you're you, you like expect it and I understand like for some people that's like that makes you feel put on the spot or like you owe them something but it doesn't have to be like ostentatious or it can just, it can just be like it can be cute you know it could be like a, a knickknack and that's what he did it was when the um, Winter Olympics were held here I live in Canada in Vancouver and he got her the little like commemorative like these like red mittens that had the Olympic rings and it said like Vancouver had like a maple leaf okay what it's like I don't even know what was that like maybe $20 gift or you know whatever but like it's cute like they met during the Olympics right and she's like it was so thoughtful she's like I actually wore them to work you know like I walked to work and I wore them tonight she's like is that so nice because it didn't like make me feel awkward it wasn't like too big it wasn't like silly it was just like so sweet you know so you can do something like that like especially when the weather is nice you can go on picnics maybe she said she like caramelize the onions and you like bring a jar of that right like there's always something you can do so anyway meet people if you meet online you have to kind of and I think like you should be honest as possible so I had a I had another co-worker who her life was like this is like a wild ride so she it's a very accomplished surgeon she was in her late 30s and she's like I want to get married and have kids because like I had nothing without that in my opinion and she's like it's like what I wanted so she left the city she was living in packed up her car, drove to Toronto in like September, got on the apps in October. Her, this guy she like matched with asked her to his birthday party first week of November. They were pregnant in May and married in August and they're still together, right? And she's like, you just have to know what you want and you can't be like shy. You just have to like say it. Like I want to get married. I want to have kids. Like I don't waste time. And it's not what you do against what you do it. It's not like it has to be you and you have to be the it's like you know you're just putting that out there so I just think be be really genuine and people can like girls are smart you know like people can like smell it so if you're a guy who just kind of wants to like recover from a relationship and you're not interested in another relationship just say that you just say that if you just want to get married then just say that too right and cultural norms just state those openly as well whatever they are so just be like comfortable because I think a lot of the time when it comes to dating people know what they want but they're almost like ashamed they're almost like ashamed to admit what they want they feel like they'll be judged so just like make peace with that okay as best as you can and then I would just say like allow yourself to feel like a world of possibilities and try to venture out from your comfort zone so this is rich coming from me who's always in the same park most of the time but you know, go to a different area in your town or your city, sit at a different cafe, um, and obviously change your like perspective on things, you know? It really goes a long way to see the world in like a fresh, just like refresh yourself, see the world in like a fresh way that like anything is possible and surround yourself with stories like this where people did meet and it was random and it did work out. I always ask couples how they met. It always like amuses me, you know, happy couples. I mean, actually even the unhappy ones, it always helps. But um, just like listen to those things, watch those movies, read those books um, and so forth, right? So I hope that makes sense. And you kind of have to believe that you can have it. You really do, and you really should. And um, I would also say, when people say desperate, I don't think they mean the person, I don't know how to say it. Like, I feel like they feel the person is in a hurry. Okay, when you're like rushing and you're anxious, you know, like Florence Scovel Shin says, you can make manifest your desires violently. So be careful, like don't be in a rush, like be patient. And I think that's, 
like the best piece of advice to give you. Just like try to like know that it will happen and you don't have to like have it today, you know? It will come. Um, that being said, I'm gonna work on a video on rejection and how to get over heartbreak as well. Cause sometimes people date to get over heartbreak and they don't do it from like a really happy place. And you need some practical advice to help in that. So hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you very soon. I love you all. Bye. <laughs>